fun fact, this right here, this sweatshirt was my first ever purchase on my debit card when I first got my first job. And I was probably, I think 16. And now look, uh, I'm 20, about 21, and I still fit in it. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Nate and Jamie, we're back with another YouTube video. Hey, yo, what's up guys? How's it going? So today's video is going to be about doubts in my transition. Before I get started though, remember all my social media will be down in the description if you guys want to follow also. Uh, if you guys are not subscribed already, you should subscribe because I make a lot of videos just like this one about my FTM transition if you guys like these kind of videos. And also I do have some videos I like to make vlogs, I like to make challenges. So yeah, let's get started. So I have seven bullet points that I wanna get in this video. So I first wanna start out with is, do I have doubts in my transition? No, I don't. Did I back then? We'll find out. Let's get started. So the first bullet point is brainwash. So I thought I had to listen to everything my parents said. So like when I first came out, they didn't support. They thought it was a phase, which how can it be a phase? You know, like I don't even believe in that. Like that's crazy how people think that's a thing but um they just thought you know i wasn't trying to i just said i was uh, uh they did believe when i said um when i came out i came out as not straight first before i came out as trans i just came out as not straight not gay not lesbian not nothing just not straight and they were perfectly fine with that they're like i, I was scared to tell them and they were like hey I have gay friends, like, obviously I support, you know, they were so nice about that, and then I come out as trans, and they're like, bro, it's a phase, so I can be not straight, and that's not a phase, but I can't be transgender, I know it's a little harder to support transgenders, because, um, it is a more real thing, as in you're gonna have to, you do surgery, you're gonna have to, like, make your body different, you know, so I understand it's gonna be a harder to kind of support, but, you know, if you love your kid unconditionally, you know, you can support them through everything. So that's kind of how I thought it was. Like, oh, uh, drugs are completely bad. Or, oh, uh, drinking beer is bad and stuff like that. It's like, oh, if that's bad and he doesn't support me being trans, maybe it's actually bad to be trans. Like, so I wasn't like, obviously I was still trans and all that, but it was like, okay, maybe I have to hide it. Maybe it's really bad if my own parents, like, and the thing with them was a little different because they didn't tell me it was bad. They told me they supported me, but still called me a girl and still called me by the name Claudia. And it was just like kind of annoying. I was like, so like, is it a good thing or is it a bad thing? So that's why I was still having kind of doubts. Like, like they support, like they control my whole life. So I thought if like, they're not happy, then I can't be happy, you know? I don't know. If that sounds, I know, I know a little weird, but you know, like, uh, with, like, the way they kind of raised me was, you know, like, I have to do everything they tell me to do. Uh, I can't do anything bad, and that's kind of what I thought, like, trans was. The second bullet point is, I didn't start testosterone till I was 19, um, which I'm really happy, but I'm also sad. The only reason why I, that is because my parents didn't support, uh, I had to wait till I turned 18 to leave, but 18, you know, I was in the stage where, where, where do I live? I don't know where to go. I, I lived with my grandma for a bit till I finally had a stable job and got enough money to afford my place now. And then I finally started testosterone when I was 19, you know? So I, I'm really happy about that because that gets me to my third bullet point. <laughs> um, it's good to have time to think. Like, I wish I started testosterone when I first knew, you know? Like, right when I first knew I was like a baby kid, you know? Because uh, I've known forever, and even when I came out to my whole family, they all were like, oh yeah, I remember when we tried to make you wear a dress, but you wouldn't wear a dress, blah, blah, blah. You know, like all those little memories that I can't even remember. But I'm really glad I waited, because what what if I did have to detransition now because I made a mistake? That's why I was glad I didn't have supportive family because that made me more time to think and look up videos and be like, oh, like, am I transgender? Uh, let's watch some of these guys' videos. Let's see if I have bottom dysphoria, chest dysphoria, voice dysphoria, you know, anything like that. And, you know, it gave me a lot of time to think. Finally, it, it got me a lot of time to cope, too. Like, some people are like, oh, I'm trans. I'm not even going to cope with it. I'm just going to get testosterone, you know, but I had a lot of time to cope with it, be like, all right, I'm trans, it's cool, have some friends um, that were like, you know what, yeah, I don't give a fuck, you're my friend either way, it doesn't matter what gender you are, you know, and that, that made me like, okay, okay, cool, and you know, I started being, being, like, loving myself now, I fucking love myself, whether I'm, like, and 
back in the day, I used to, like, always be like, oh, I wish I'm cis. No, like, if right now, if I, like, God could be like, yo, if you want to be a guy right now, a full guy, uh, I would say no, because I want to be able to make these videos, I want to be able to have these um, online friends, like, all you guys, like, all you guys DMing me and, like, snapping me and all that. I would never have you guys, and, like, it's cool talking to you guys and finally having people that relate to me. Um, it's a cool, it's amazing, because in this small town, there's no one that's like me here. Number four is, uh, uh, bad starting late. Like, I know it's not that late, like, 19 years old. That's not that late, but, you know, if they did support me, I could start when, I could start, like, 16, you know, like, when I'm 16 years old instead of 19 and be farther on testosterone, probably have top surgery by now, um, be underneath their health insurance, because I don't pay anything, I, I don't have health insurance, but... At the end of the day, I wouldn't meet the people I've met. I wouldn't have... I, none of this would have happened. I would have not had this place. I would not have the job I'm at now. I wouldn't... I probably wouldn't even have a YouTube video uh, because they're so strict and I don't think they would want their kid being on social media like this because I didn't even get social media until I think I... I think I was like a sophomore at, in high school when I first got my first social media and they were still... They still like had to take my phone away and make sure I'm not texting a someone they don't like, one of my friends, so, yeah, um, I'm really glad they didn't support me, like, now, like, saying, back in the day, obviously, I hated it, like, I wanted my parents to support me, but now, bro, like, fuck that shit, I don't need them. The fifth one is, I kind of already kind of said it, but time is key, like, remember to take your time, like, even if you know you're trans, just please take your time, because, you don't want to do anything bad and like with your body because like at least uh, like come out cool i i think what you should first do is come out come out as the name you want to be the gender you want to be make your in just come out slowly like come out to just two friends and be like damn i like that you're calling me a, a masculine name let's let's make a little more let's do the school the whole school or let's do just my work or you know or just do my family and just start out like that slow and then be like all right I'm going to go to a therapist. They're going to subscribe me testosterone because I'm ready, you know. Don't just be like, oh, I feel trans. I'm, I, I, this guy, Clayton, is telling me I'm trans. Let's go start hormones. No, don't do that because then my next bullet point, number six, is um, detransitioners. Like, um, you know, you're a detransitioner. That's awesome. That's cool. Okay, I guess that I probably shouldn't have said it like, that's awesome. But, like, um, you know, things happen. Cool. Um, but you could try to avoid it as much as possible by watching these videos, videos like this, uh, taking more time. Like, peop some people start off too fast. Me, I, I went so slow that I had so many times to know, like, I'm not going to be a detransitioner, you know? Um, and that's what you guys need to do, because if you just start right away, like, you come out. When I came out, so I came out, like, what? I think I was at least 16. 16 or 17, when, oh, Six, 15 or 16 when I fully came, well, I don't know. When I came out to my parents, I think it was like 16. That's what I'm going to say. I, I came out to like friends and shit before my, like my parents were the last people to know. So 16, my parents. So look, right there, I, and I didn't start testosterone until I was 19. So there you go. That's already three, three years um, of just coping with it, being like, all right, I'm trans. So that's definitely cool. Start it right after three years. If you just come out and then wait like six months and start testosterone, bro, you're probably going to be a detransitioner. I, I like my opinion you might not but like you should at least wait a year to two before you start testosterone because you don't want to like not saying td transitioners are bad you know and i love everyone i support everyone but do you really want to start hormones get top surgery get bottom surgery and then be like yo i'm actually a girl now i'm a girl with a ding dong you know the complete opposite you know um yeah just just watch out uh, try to try to help yourself out because you don't want to go through the surgery and redo the surgery, you know? Yeah. Number seven, I kind of already said it. Some changes stick. So just remember, if you did detransition, uh, voice, I like I don't know officially everything. So like uh, if you're down in the comments, oh, th this is actually not going to stick. Like I don't know for sure. This is kind of just my opinion and what I think. Um, I didn't search any of this up. You know, I just kind of make it by what I want to make it about. Uh, but I think your voice stays. I don't think, I don't think you can change your voice. Maybe if you start, like, estrogen, like me right now, like, how boy, am I low, hey, what's up? If I start estrogen, maybe my voice will be like, hey, what up? You know, but I don't know for sure. Um, you're, you'll probably be as hairy, you know, how hairy you get when you start testosterone. That's another thing, you know, if you have, um, if you have 
top surgery. I know that's not a chain that will stick, but then you're gonna have to spend another 10, 10 grand or ho however much it is, 15 grand, I don't know. And I don't know how much it's gonna be if you detransition. That might be double to get bigger, you know? So, and all that, just like try to save your money. Try not to go through all that because chains will stick. And um, I'm just trying to help a buddy out, you know? So, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. That's the end of the video. I really appreciate you guys watching me like this. Um, yeah, I kind of don't know why I'm wearing this. This brings back a lot of sad memories, this sweatshirt. But maybe I'm wearing it to be like, you know what? We're going to make happy memories in this sweatshirt. This sweatshirt I've worn. This is, okay, right here, guys. So I'm wearing sweatpants. These are these are newer sweatpants. I've never worn this back in the day. But this uh, sweatshirt, this sweatshirt been through everything. Right when I came out, I had no um, guy guy clothes because my parents barely supported me, you know. Um, so I would literally wear sweatpants in this sweatshirt. Every day of high school, every single day. This was my first purchase with my credit card, with my debit card. Uh, it like the this this literally this this sweatshirt was my homie. I'm gonna try my best to keep this in great condition to give it to my kid, like their first ever sweatshirt. I'm gonna give it to them because this sweatshirt has been through me through a lot of hard memories, and it's just it's just amazing sweatshirt. Um, I've worn this every freaking day, dang. I wish I had pictures. I have no pictures from back in the day. Uh, probably because I got a new phone after I left my parents' house. And uh, I think I got a new Apple account, like Apple Gmail account and shit like that. I got like everything brand new after I left that place. Like I'm a different person. Like I don't even exist back then. Um, but I had so many pictures in this white shirt. <laughs> dang, I wish I had them. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys for watching. We appreciate it. Remember to hit the thumbs up button. And also comment because I love reading your guys' comments, notification bell, and also share. I never say that. If you guys want to share to other LGBT members that might need some of, some help, you know, I'm here to help. So, yeah. Also, uh, all my links in the description for my social media if you guys want to follow. And, yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Bye.